Alright everyone, welcome back to another episode of this IL-2 Sturmovic 1946 Iron Man series. In this mission, it looks like we're going to be doing another escort mission. And of course, we have rockets and bombs. Because... Game. But, uh... Yeah. It's looking like it'll be... Pretty similar to the last mission, except we're taking off from the northwest side of Guam instead of the east side of Guam. They're saying to expect plenty of Japanese planes in the air, which I'm not surprised based off of the last mission. Plenty of Japanese Zeros in the air. Looks like we're going to have this guy named Boland on our wing. I will uh, try not to abandon him. This uh, mission... I have a, a strat that I plan on employing now, this time to avoid repeating what happened in the last mission. Um, what else? Yes, so, I also decided we have five kills now. What better than to create my own little skin with the kills marked on it? Just like some real life pilots did. So I took this uh, blue generic Ronco skin here and just added some Imperial Japanese Navy flags and our pilot's name and rank. Get a little extra immersion in there. Of course, I will have to update it every time I get kills, but it's not too bad. It took me like 10 minutes in GIMP to put this together, so... So yeah. Let me 100% take off this stuff, because... Yeah, I don't want to have rockets and bombs, because we're not ground attacking, we're supposed to be escorting. So yeah. Without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, my plan for this mission is we are going to be flying above the planned flight height. So if I check here, let's see which one is the way. 550 meters? Yeah, not happening. We're flying way higher than that. At least 3,000 meters, because I do not want to be at an altitude disadvantage in this plane. It's not not fun, not fun. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's see how it looks. Eh. Yeah, you can see it in there. Oh, yep. Yeah. I'll see you guys when I'm in the air. Alright, so we're in the air on the way to the target. It's looking like this mission has us as the actual escort, so we're going to be weaving and bobbing when on an autopilot. But it looks like this strike force is comprised solely of Hellcats with rockets and bombs. So no Avengers this time, and there's more of us, so hopefully things will go better. But yeah, I'm gonna take manual control here in a moment and climb us up to at least above the clouds so that we for sure are gonna have the advantage in this upcoming fight because without it, life is pain. So, uh, I'll catch back up with you guys when we either make contact with the enemy or we're over Guam. Alright, so I just got a call out on the radio saying fighters 9 o'clock. That would be over here. Let me take this off a level auto plan. Let's see what's going on over here. So far, I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. 
interesting. Uh, I don't know who's calling out these fighters here. Let's just stay up here. Oh, whoa. Hold up. Alright. I think we spotted our first enemy, boys. Alright. Let's trim this out a little bit. Pulling up too easy. Seeing him. Oh, there we go. Is there only one? Seems a little odd if it's only one. Let's, Tommy, I got you covered. Let's tell Bolin to cover me. Be going for the lower formation. He hasn't seen me. Okay, there he is. Okay, we definitely have the advantage, unlike last time. Let's make sure we keep it. Really, it's only one? Maybe this was like a recon flight or something? Seems a little fishy to me. Lots of clouds. The briefing said that they were going to be at 4,500 feet, but this is definitely a lot higher than 4,500 feet. Clouds are not helping visibility either. Cannot see what's going on. Okay, there he is. Is that even... I mean, they said fighters, and the AI tends to call things out correctly. Let's see what we have here. Looks like one of those zeros with the green paint scheme. Catching up pretty easy. We're going to get a pretty good pass at him. Sorry if you heard anything on the mic there. I was adjusting the headset. Okay, we can bump down a little. Alright, let's go for him. Boland's covering me. Alright, here we go. Okay, he sees me. He ain't running from me, boy. Keep our advantage. Let's 
just going to keep doing this. I'm not going to follow him through it. Whoa, wingman, you're a little close. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would have been quite an ending. Jeez. Now let's stay up, stay up, stay up. East man is down on the deck at this point. Ooh. There we go. Bailed out. Oh, yeah. Make that six kills now on the crew. All right, we gotta catch back up to our formation. So now we're very behind. Oh crap! And now we're we're not there for them. All right, I don't know how long this is gonna take, so. I'll catch up with you guys when we're back in the fight. Alright, we're back in the fight. We got the advantage. Alright, looks like one of our guys is getting torn up here. We've even got some planes on the ground, it looks like. Alright, we're gonna buzz this guy. Try and save his ass. Roger, I got you covered. Target destroyed. Three, three, zero, zero, five. Jeez. Alright, let's buzz him. Get him off me. Firing rocket. Good kill, good kill. Oof. Okay, got him. Not happening, bro. Now he's slow. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of them. Right, we're gonna overheat quickly. Get him off me. Oh yeah, he has no speed. Took out an elevator. He's pretty much done for the dog. Oh, yo, cover Roger, me, bro. I got you cover me, bro. Oh, jeez. Oh no, dude. Roger, here we go. Attack and oh, I think this is the end. Oh, jeez. Well, it was nice knowing you, McLovin. Nice shot. Just like that. It all went black. Attention! Let's do it one more time. Over. Damn! Get him off me! Well... That's the end. Dang. Jeez. Would have been uh, nice if my wingman actually covered me there. Wonder if I would have been better off just telling my wingman to attack the fighters. Because I've used the cover me command before and honestly it doesn't seem like it's very effective. 
Well, at least we took down... We, well, we shot down three zeros before getting taken out ourselves. That's tough. Looked like we were doing pretty good, but I guess that those zeros, they, they can climb when you're not looking. And get you. Get him off me. Oh, what is our wingman even doing? So this is... What, what are you doing over Where here, bro? Deal? This guy's getting toasted. not hoping for this to come to an end so soon, but, uh, looks like we're done flying for the Navy. Oh, wow, that was a nice shot. Yeah, unfortunate. Just one, one zero. Didn't notice. Was enough to do me. I'm also thinking I probably should. Uh, I think I kind of turned into the bullets. I think that was on me. I thought I could get away with it. Oh damn! This guy's good. Probably should have tried diving or something like that. Yeah, I'll take the blame for the death on that one. I could have. Avoided complete obliteration. But, I mean, I say we had a good run. At least I, I got some some actual dogfighting in before succumbing. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll just set this. Thing. And it wasn't even the A6M5, it was literally the beginning of the War Zeroes. That's tough. That is tough. Well, we ended with, uh, eight kills. And, uh, oh yeah. So I'm gonna create a poll for you guys to see what nation you want to see me fly for next. Um, and yeah, I'll probably end up taking the rest of this week off to let you guys vote in the the poll. On top of the fact that I'm going to be busy this week. But uh, yeah, we'll for sure be starting the the next career by next week. So yeah, vote in the community poll. What nation should I fly for next? And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for joining me.